Hey folks, Millennium Edition 56 here with you once again. And today I'm going to show you how to burn a disc. Now this is fairly easy actually. Uh, but I'm going to show you anyway because some of you guys may not know. So let's go ahead and show you. Obviously we're at my desktop. My favorite place to be. So what I do is first off you have to put a disc in the drive. That's pretty much self-explanatory. And in this case I have a Philips CDR but you can also do RW dr discs. Okay so we'll go ahead and put it into the drive. Of course it'll read, but here. Then you go to a an app called Power to Go. Now this app is actually pretty cool. I have it in an audio recording because that's what this video is about. So you hit Power to Go, which is this app, and it wants me to upgrade. Now in this, you may be pretty much confused. So I'll go ahead and uh, explain myself with this. Data disc, CD, DVD, music disc. Now this is where you want to be. Audio CD is pretty much, uh, well, it burns it into a CD you can play any on anything like a like a Blu-ray a Blu-ray burner player thingy whatever and a natural CD player. An MP3 CD, uh, an MP3 CD pretty much puts MP3 files onto the disc. So that's not going to do us any good because I want to be able to play this in my Sony uh, Walkman CD player. That's not a DVD, so we just WMA is no good to us either. So you hit audio CD. And then, I don't know why it takes so long, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and compile my music, and then we'll start the burning process. And also, before you are done, make sure that your drive is showing up, which mine is. So, I'll go ahead and put all mine in, and uh, I'll come back when I'm done. After that's all done, go ahead and uh, first off, check and make sure via the thing that uh, it doesn't go past 80 minutes. In my case, the size is exceeded, so I have to go ahead and get rid of a track, which I'm just going to get rid of Billy Jean since I really didn't intend on having that in there anyways. So we have 77 minutes go ahead and burn and then you go ahead and select your settings now you can enable CD text which I'm going to do going to do the album as just album and the artist is me but you can do anything you want if you want that as it is you go ahead anyway I'll go ahead and go to my burner you can have maximum speed but I keep it at maximum speed to make it quick and enable the buffer now you do not have to do write simulations this is only there so that way like it can make sure the disk is good which in case in my case my discs are good because they're brand new and that's all hit burn and it should start burning
Now it'll take a little bit for it to write. So be patient. See, it's starting to burn now, and it's 30 seconds in. Okay, so when it is done, it'll pop the disc out of the tray. You go ahead and take it off, or take it out. And then, to make sure it's working, test it using your CD player. In this case, a Sony Walkman DE220. Really nice thing. Really nice. I got it for five bucks at a garage sale. Go ahead and put the disc in there. In my case, I'm going to be using my Bose speakers. So they have an aux input, so that way I don't have to use the uh, connector that goes to the computer. So I'll go ahead and get that set up. I got it all rigged up, so here we go. Seems to be working. Let's track one though. Track two. And uh... So it does work. This video is also an excuse to uh, try out my blue microphone and my Bose Companion 2 Series 3 speakers. But you know, if you got a little education out of this video, that's great. That's awesome. Now you know how to burn a disc using... Uh, Power Director. Well, not Power Director, but what's the program I used earlier? Using Power to Go. Thank you for watching this video, and hopefully, you learned a little something. And don't forget, feel free to leave a comment if you so happen to have one.